Good evening. How are you? Buenas noches. Bienvenidos a la clase de nuevo. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening, teacher. Good evening Olga. Good evening, Soraya. Good evening, and teacher. Rafael, thank you for coming. Thank you for attending to the class. And uh, today we are going to continue with um, the topics that we were studying before, right? Vamos a seguir con con lo que estábamos practicando anteriormente, solo déjenme ver. Vamos a esperar un momento para ver si se conectan los demás. Okay. Y ya vamos a comenzar. Ok, teacher. Quiero ver, este es el módulo principiante. ¿Mm? Okay, now we are going to begin. Uh, what we were, uh, do you remember what we were studying yesterday? Recuerden que estábamos estudiando ayer. ¿Qué estudiamos ayer? What did we study yesterday? La voz pasiva y la voz activa. Exactly, the passive voice and the active voice, ¿verdad? La voz pasiva y la voz activa. Y hoy nada más vamos a hacer un repaso acerca de la voz activa y la voz pasiva y vamos a Creo que vamos a ver eh, otro, otro, otro tema. Vamos a ver si avanzamos en eso. Eh, do we have a homework? ¿Teníamos tarea o no teníamos tarea? Yes. Yes, right. ¿Cuál era la tarea? A conversation, right. Exactly. You have to practice a conversation. Vamos a ver cómo practicamos la conversación. Ahorita solo hay tres, pero esperamos que se conecten los demás. Probablemente está lloviendo donde ellos están o tienen algún problema, pero vamos a empezar con la conversación. Solo déjenme compartir aquí la pantalla. Ok, this is the passive voice, this is the, the listening that we were studying yesterday, right? The listening de Taj Mahal, a Palace of Versailles, en la Sagrada Familia. And this is the conversation that we are going to practice today. Y esa es la conversación que vamos a practicar hoy. Vamos a leerla primero. We are going to read the conversation. And then if you have any question about the pronunciation, we are going to answer your questions, right? About vocabulary or something like that. And after that, we are going to listen to the conversation. And after that, we are going to practice it. So. Let me see here. Okay, this is the conversation. What do you want to know? And it says, it's a conversation between Lisa and Eric. Una conversación entre Lisa y Eric, ¿verdad? It says, Eric, you're from Amsterdam, aren't you? Yeah, why? I'm going there for a conference and I like some information. Sure. What do you want to know? Do you use the euro in the Netherlands? Yes, the euro is used in most of Europe, you know? And do I need to take euros with me? Not really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere and there's much safer. Of, co of course, and what should I buy there? Cheese, definitely. We raise dairy cows and some really excellent cheese is made from their milk. Good, I love cheese. Where is it sold? You can find it at cheese shops or around the city. And don't forget to bring me a piece. Okay, esa es la conversación que vamos a practicar hoy. Creo que ahí en el grupo la compartieron también. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca de alguna palabra a la pronunciación de algo? Euros, teacher. Euro, like uh -huh. Europe, right? Euro, 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 Euro. exactly. Yes. Okay. Another, Thanks. another word, another question. For example, uh, at the begin, uh, at the end of the conversation, it says, "Eric, cheese, right? That uh, ella tiene que comprar queso, verdad?" Mm -hmm. uh, we raise dairy cows. What is dairy? Dairy is productos yeah. lácteos, ¿verdad? No, productos lácteos. Ah, 
Okay. Theory. Y, y race, race. Race es como criar, ¿verdad? Entonces ellos crían eh, vacas, pero ¿qué tipo de vacas? Dairy cows. Le, lecheras. Digamos. Lecheras, exactly. Ah. Vacas lecheras. Dairy cows. Oh. And some really excellent cheese. So dairy cow is una vaca leche, lechera. Okay. Another question. Do we have another question? No questions? Okay. So we are going to listen to the conversation. Let me see, I guess that I didn't share, share it correctly. Okay, now uh, we are going to listen to the conversation. Vamos a escuchar la conversación para que ustedes no se acostumbren a mi pronunciación, sino que también eh, escuchen otro tipo de pronunciación. Said, if straight lines don't exist. Are you able to listen? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. Just in nature, they Page 75. Exercise 8. Conversation. What do you want to know? Part A. Listen and practice. Eric, you're from Amsterdam, aren't you? Yeah. Why? I'm going there for a conference, and I'd like some information. Sure. What do you want to know? Do you use the euro in the Netherlands? Yes, the euro is used in most of Europe, you know. And do I need to take euros with me? Not really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere, and they're much safer. Of course. And what should I buy there? Cheese, definitely. We raise dairy cows, and some really excellent cheese is made from their milk. Good. I love cheese. Where is it sold? You can find it at cheese shops all around the city. And don't forget to bring me a piece. Okay, very good. Do you need to listen to it again? Or oh, that's enough? ¿La necesitan escuchar de nuevo? ¿O está bien así? Once again, please. Just one more time. Okay, very good. Yes. Yeah, we are going to listen to it again. And if you have any question about the pronunciation, just let me know. Okay, just one more time, okay? Page 75, exercise eight, conversation. What do you want to know? Part A, listen and practice. Eric, you're from Amsterdam, aren't you? Yeah, why? I'm going there for a conference and I'd like some information. Sure. What do you want to know? Do you use the euro in the Netherlands? Yes. The euro is used in most of Europe, you know. And do I need to take euros with me? Not really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere, and they're much safer. Of course. And what should I buy there? Cheese, definitely. We raise dairy cows, and some really excellent cheese is made from their milk. Good. I love cheese. Where is it sold? You can find it at cheese shops all around the city. And don't forget to bring me a piece. Okay, very good. Now, are we ready? Do we have any questions about the conversation? Questions about the conversation? No, teacher. Okay. Now we are 11, 11 people. Now we are going to work in groups to practice the conversation. Um, let's see, three or four. And you can switch each other and you can start practicing. And after that, I would like to listen to you like practicing uh, just a couple of, of, of you, right? Practicing the conversation. Now, let me see. Let me see if I remember how to create the groups. Okay, we are going to create the groups. Vamos a hacer cuatro salas y vamos a estar en parejas. O vamos a hacer, tal vez voy a, no voy a hacer tantas salas. Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer tres salas. We are going to create three uh, rooms for you to practice, okay? 
And you are going once you join, you are going to start speaking and talking. Okay, join the groups, uh, join the rooms, please. Okay, are you there, Karen, Elena? Are you there? Sure. What do you know? What do you want to know? Do you use the 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 euro in the Netherlands? Yes, the euro is used in most Europe. You know. And do I need to take euros with me? Not really. International credit cards are actually everywhere and they're much safer of course and watch eric you are from Amsterdam, aren't you yeah why i'm going there for a conference and i would like some information sure what do you want to know do you use the aero Euro in the Netherlands? Yes, the Euro is used in most of Europe, you know. Um, do I need to say Euros with me? Not really. Your national credit cards are accepted everywhere and they are much safer. Oh, of course. And, and what should I buy there? Cheese, definitely we raise dairy cows and some really excellent cheese is made from dairy milk. Good, I love cheese. Where is that so? You can find a cheese shop all around the city. And don't forget to bring me a piece. Don't bring me a piece. Will, will, will you like a uh, switch? Yes.
Yes, Jenny, I, I, we are practicing the conversation. So we are going to come back right now, sorry. Ah, ok, teacher, solo decirle que estoy un poco mal de mi garganta. Si sí, voy a estar en la clase, pero no voy a poder participar. Ok, no problem. Thank you very much okay. for letting me know. Ok. Hi, good evening. Good evening, Roxana. Were you in a in a room practicing the conversation? No, right? You just arrived, right? No, no. <laughs> okay, no problem. We were practicing the conversation from yesterday, the one that we were supposed to, well, I guess you share it in the group. So now we are going to practice it like they practice it in the rooms. So now we are going to practice it in front of everyone. So okay. let me see here. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Vamos a practicar ahora la conversación. We are going to practice the conversation with different partners, okay? Probably you have practiced it with uh, other people already, right? So let me see here. Okay, did you practice it, Olga? Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, okay. teacher. So, who did you practice with? With Soraya, so, so, right? no, I, Soraya, no, Soveida, so, sorry, Soveida, sorry, Soveida, with Soveida, so, okay, okay, perfect, so do you want to be the first ones to, to uh, practice the conversation in front of everyone? Mm. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay. So you can begin Olga and then Soveida. Okay. No problem. Okay. Okay. Uh, Soveida, you're from Amsterdam, aren't you? Yeah. Why? I'm going there for a conference and I like some information. Sure. What do you want to know? Do you use the euro in the Netherlands? Yes, the euro is used in most of Europe, you know. And do I need to take euros with me? No, really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere and they are not safe. Of course. And what you should I buy there? I can hear Soveda. I can hear you. She is definitely we rise their come and some really excellent cheese in made for their mate their milk. Cool, I love cheese. Where is it sold? You can find it a cheese shop all around the city. And do uh, and don't forget to bring me a pie. A piece. So. Okay, very good, very good. Now, congratulations, very good, Soveida and Olga, you did it very good because you were very fluent and uh, the pronunciation was really good. Remember that is uh, here, the euro is used, right? It's used. Also, this word is kind of difficult also. Cheese, definitely, right? Definitely. And peace, right? You said it, uh, but you did it very good. Now we are going to listen to another person. Let's see. Um, Felix. Felix, uh, who did you practice with? Yes, uh, with uh, Sobeida and Olga. <laughs> Sobeida and Olga, okay. They already participated, uh, right? Okay, now but choose. If, but if you want, I, I can choose, uh, I don't know, Roxana? Roxana yes. Hill? Yes, you can choose Roxana. Roxana, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay, you can practice with, with Roxana. Please, go ahead. Uh, who, who first? Who is first? 
You can begin, Felix. Roxana. Yeah, you can begin, okay. Roxana. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Felix, uh, you're from Amsterdam, aren't you? Yeah, why? I'm going there for a conference and I would like some information. Sure, what do you want to know? Do you use the Europe in Netherlands? Yes, the euro is used in the most of Europe, you know? And do I need to take euros with me? Not really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere and they are much safer. Of course. And what should I buy there? Cheese. Definitely we raise dairy cows and some really excellent cheese is made from their milk. Good. I love cheese. Where is it sold? Uh, you can find a cheese shop all around the city. And don't forget to bring me a piece. Okay, perfect. Very good, very good. Even uh, Roxana didn't practice it in the rooms, but uh, you did it very well. Also, Felix, congratulations. Uh, remember, uh, it's uh, Netherlands. What is the meaning of Netherlands in, in Spanish? Países Bajos. Países Bajos, exactly, okay. Países Bajos. Uh, also used, uh, this one is pronounced used uh, because at the end it's like a small D, right? Una de muy pequeña, used, and find it. Very good. Now we, we will you. have another couple. I need volunteers. Quien quiere participar? Who wants to participate, please? Me. Okay, Rafael. Who were you, pra who were you practicing with? Me, teacher. With Jacqueline. Okay, very good, Rafael. You can practice with Jacqueline in the conversation. Go ahead. Uh, Rafael, you are from Amsterdam, aren't you? Yeah, why? Uh, I'm going there for a conference and I'd like some information. Sure. What do you want to know? And uh, do you use the hero in the Netherlands? Yes, the euro is used in most of Europe, you know. Uh, and do I need to pay euros with me? Not really. International credit cards are accepted everywhere and they are some uh, they are much safer. Of course, um what shall I uh, buy there? Cheese. Definitely. We are we rice dairy cows and some really excellent cheese is made from their milk. Good. I love cheese. What is what is salt? You can find you can find it at cheese shops all around the city. And don't forget to bring me a piece. Thank you. Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Now, how do you how do you feel like, how do you feel practicing English with conversation? Is it good for you or is it not that good? Is it useful? How do you feel practicing English with this kind of conversations? To me, it's, 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 uh, good. Um, it's good. It's, it's good, good for me. It's useful. It's me. Okay. It's useful. Yes. It's useful. Yes. yes useful. Yeah. Useful. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm asking you this because sometimes we are used to practicing or speaking English with conversations that they already made. So it doesn't sound natural, but it's okay, but because we are learning, right? It's okay. Now, uh, what I would like you to advise is like to imitate English from a person that you like, like this person, you like, like an actor, for example, or an actress, the way they speak, you can imitate them, right? You can imitate the, the, the accent, the words, the expressions they use. Traten de imitar a alguien que les guste como habla inglés para así sonar más naturales, ¿verdad? Este, por ejemplo, alguna de las palabras que es difícil es euro, because mm -hmm. eh, it's una E, una U, una R y una O, ¿verdad? Pero con Europe, we can, um, we can practice it. Europe, euro, without the P, right? 
also a verbs in, in past, los verbos regulares en pasado, traten de practicarlos también, used, eh, accepted, ¿verdad? Al final es una I, accepted, y también eh, should, ¿verdad? Should. But generally, it was really good. Very good. Perfect. Now we are going to continue with the class for today. This is just a uh, listening. Uh, probably we will do it later if we have time just to review the passive voice because some of you were not present uh, in the first class. Esta vamos a tratar de usarla como repaso si nos queda tiempo. Y the objective for today is by the end of this class, students will notice the different ways the letter O is pronounced. So, esto está en la plataforma. Esto va a ser rápido, solo para ver la pronunciación de la letra O. Eh, la letra O en español tiene solo una pronunciación, right? Just one pronunciation, O, ¿verdad? But in English, it has different uh, pronunciations or different accents or different intonation, right? So, for example, esto lo que explicaba la plataforma or it, mm -hmm. what it was explained there is that, for example, sometimes it sounds like an A, ah, not, top, for example, O, like no, don't, like an U, do, food, or like a close U. Esto es como una U cerrada, ¿verdad? One, love. Entonces, es una O, pero tiene diferentes... Eh, tipos o cómo pronunciarla. Um, in this case, these words or these letters are not letters. These are sounds. These are phonemes. Es siempre que vean esto en un diccionario son fonemas y es cómo se pronuncia la palabra en fonemas. Tendríamos que aprender los fonemas para um, pues saber cómo se pronuncian. Pero uh, that's that will be just like an extra. Now we will try to pronounce these words, right? Um, how do you pronounce this word? The first one. Come. Come. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Come. 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 No, right. Or comb. No, it's come. Come. La siguiente, the next one. How do you pronounce this one? Done. 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 Exactly. Done. It's done, done. right? Done. Done. The third one. Luck. 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 It's locked. Exactly. It's luck. 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 The fourth one, the next one. Own. 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 It's my own. The next one. Shot. 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 The next one. Soon. Soon. Exactly. Soon. With a new, right? And the last one. Who. Who. Who, right? Who. Who. So as you can see, um, there is no rule actually to, there are some rules to pronounce, yes, but for most of the pronunciation, they change if they are together, if they are combined with other words, it changes, right? So this is like an extra for your pronunciation. Do you have any question? Pregunta? No question. No questions, very good. No question. Perfect, so we are going to continue with the next Objective. In this class, participants will be able to listen and practice conversation between people asking for and giving information. Participants will also identify the passive with by in context. This is uh, otra conversación. Uh, we are going to listen to it later just to check if it is possible just to review this. And as we were seeing before, this is the passive voice. Como les decía al principio de la voz pasiva, uh, de, la voz pasiva puede ser pasiva en diferentes tiempos. Okay, the passive voice can be um, a, or exists in different tenses. We have simple present or present simple, present continuous, past simple, past continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous, past perfect, future simple, and future perfect. So this is the active voice. Estos son unos, a veces estos tiempos ya los, algunos ya lo saben, pero no todos, pero los van a llegar a saber después, lo van a llegar a practicar. Pero estos son los tiempos y estos son ejemplos. This is the active and this is the passive. Y eso es lo que me estaban preguntando, ¿verdad? Pues si solo es en pasado o solo es en presente. Y aquí pueden ver que están en diferentes tiempos. The first one, for example, it says, I make a cake. 
present, right? Simple present. I make a cake. Yo hago un cake, ¿verdad? Un pastel. In passive is a cake is made by me, right? That is optional. A cake is made by me. Present continuous. I am making a cake. Passive, a cake is being made by me. So this, uh, the verb to be is there all the time, but it changes. E, the past participle is there. It doesn't change because it's always the past participle. Solo el que cambia, como pueden ver, es el verbo to be. O si se le agrega um, otro uh, verbo auxiliar, también se le tiene que agregar dependiendo del de tiempo, ¿verdad? Este está en pasado. This one is in past. I made a cake. A cake was made by me. So that is the past, right? So that's, this is just an example for you to see that it is possible to have the passive voice in different tenses, okay? Do you have any question about this? Questions? No? No, no question. Okay, perfect. So um, this is really, this is just, you need to practice it, right? It's kind of difficult, but with formulas, con las formulas, eh, pueden practicarlo y lo van a lograr hacer fácilmente. Now, uh, this is the passive without by. A veces utilizamos el la voz pasiva sin by, ¿verdad? For example, it says here active. They use the euro in most of the European Union. They speak English in many European countries. Or they manufacture a lot of cars in Europe. Y la voz pasiva de esas oraciones es the euro is used in most of the EU. So we don't know the doer, or actually it's not important. So that's the reason why we don't add it. English is spoken in many European countries. And a lot of cars are manufactured in Europe, right? So um, this is the, the emphasis changes. En la voz pasiva, cuando esto pasa, el, eh, cambia el emphasis. They use the euro in most of the European Union. The euro is used in most of the European Union, right? They focus changes from they to the euro, which is what we are interested in. Ya sabemos que los que usan la moneda son las personas, ¿verdad? Así que no es necesario agregarlo. Uh, when do we use it without by? In factual, in factual or scientific writing, the chemical is placed in a test tube and the data enter into the computer. Esta oración está en voz pasiva y esta es una oración así bien científica, ¿verdad? Que nos está dando un hecho. Y también, in order to put the new information at the end of the sentence to improve style, para poner información al final de la oración, ¿verdad? Three books are used regularly in the class. The books were written by Dr. Bell. Es como para mejorar el estilo de la oración. And this is uh, shown in the platform, right? The doer of this sentence, two sentences, is obvious or not important. The euro is used in most of the EU by the people, and cars are manufactured in Europe by manufacturers, right? Por los fabricantes. So this is the uh, simple present passive. Este es el presente, eh, la fórmula para el pasivo en el presente simple. Is, are, the present of be, and the past participle. Y después seguiríamos con la misma eh, fórmula que utilizamos antes para lo que vimos anteriormente con la voz pasiva, ¿verdad? La fórmula anterior, con el objeto al principio y después el verbo to be y el eh, pasado participio. So, just to finish, solo para finalizar esto de la passive voice, passive without an agent. El, el agente es el que va después del by, ¿verdad? Passive structures without an agent are very common. We use these structures when an agent is not important or is unknown or obvious. Examples, all applications must be received before 31st July. The data was analyzed and the results have just been published. I walk to work, the car is being repaired. It and there, we often use an impersonal expression with it or there when the agent is not important. It was decided to charge 10 euros per ticket. It has been estimated that in Tanzania, one elephant in three is an orphan. 
and there were no comments given about the proposal and no decisions made. Ahí está en negro eh, la voz pasiva. You can check it there. So that is just an extra information, right, for you to have it. Questions about this? Preguntas? Actually, es, es lo mismo que hemos estado viendo, solo que nada más ella explica por qué no se usa el, el, el doer, ¿verdad? O el agente de la oración. Now we are going to practice the passive voice, the last one, the last time, right? It says, rewrite these sentences in active voice. The bag was packed by his mother. Ahí lo vamos a transformar, pero a voz activa, ¿verdad? The bag was packed by his mother. What is the, the sentence that we are going to use like in an active way? The bag was packed by his mother. Eso ya está en, pas en passive voice. Ahora yo la quiero en active voice. Um, first uh, is the subject. Mm -hmm. uh, in in this mother. case, is is my mother. It's exactly. his mother. His, his mother. mother. His mother. His mother. Exactly. His mother. His mother. Um, was. Was packed okay. by, by the bag. No, was packed. No, no right. That is no. passive. Oh. Is, is packed. Is packed? packed. No, that is He's passive. <laughs> that is oh, passive. Packed. Packed. His mother. His mother. His mother. His mother. Is packed the bag. Is packed the bag. His is... mother is packed the bag. Let's see. No. Let's see. The bag was packed by his mother, his mother packed the bag. Mm. Su madre packed. empacó la bolsa, ¿verdad? Empacó la bolsa. Packed ¿Por qué es packed? Y no, ¿dónde, ¿dónde se fue el verbo to be? Where is it, the, the verb to be? Is. Con his. Yes, exactly. It's, it's not there. ¿Por qué? Porque en, en la voz mm -hmm. activa no lleva el verbo to be. Y el pasado mm -hmm. participio, ¿verdad? Solo en voz pasiva. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's, let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. This book was written by an Irishman. 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 Mm -hmm. Write this book. Write this book. Let's see. Let's see. Irishman write this book. An Irishman write this book. This book. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see this. Let's put this here. This book was written by an Irishman. An Irishman wrote this book. Okay, very well, good. Uh, almost. But it's just the tense, right? That is in past. Almost. Next one. Coffee is sold by Mary. Mary sold, sold coffee. Mary, Mary sell, 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 okay. sell Mary coffee. sell coffee. Let's coffee. see. Mary sells, right? Sell sells an S. Sell. Exactly. Remember, yes. that's why the bases are really important. Por eso la base es importante, ¿verdad? Porque eso lo vimos allá en, en, en basic, right? Mm -hmm. Sells coffee. Next one. The computer is used by Patrick. Patrick. Patrick used the computer. Patrick used the computer. Patrick used the computer. Patrick Patrick used the computer. computer. In past or in present? Um, present. Let's see. Patrick, Patrick uses, 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 the uses the computer, uses right? The uses computer. the Patrick computer. Use, exactly. Patrick uses the computer. The last one. The exercise is completed by the teacher. The teacher. The teacher. The teacher completed the exercise. The exercise. The teacher completed the exercise. The Let's exercise. see. The teacher completes the exercise, oh, right? Completes. completes. Why? Porque aquí está en presente. Entonces aquí esto nos va a decir que la oración la transformamos en presente. Y si el verbo to be aquí en pasiva está en pasado, la transformamos en pasado. That is the 
the key right. Let's okay. see if we have something else. Ahora al revés. Now uh, turn these sentences in passive voice. My friend bought a new car. That is active right now. I want it in passive. My friend bought a new car. A new car. A new car. Mm -hmm. New car. A new car was 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 bought. Was by, bought by my bought friend. By my friend. Let's see. Very good. A new car was bought, and then by my friend. Right. That is optional. Very good. Mm -hmm. Next one. John yeah. cleaned the bathroom. The bathroom, the bathroom was, was cleaned by John. John. Let's see. The bathroom was cleaned clean. by John. Very good. Clean. Very good. Levi Strauss inventing the blue jeans. The blue jeans the blue was, was, was invented by, by Levi Strauss. Let's see. The blue jeans were invented by Levi Strauss. Very good, very good. Where, porque aquí está en plural, recuerden blue jeans. Blue jean, no, blue, blue jeans. jeans. Next one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. The teacher, <laughs> sorry. The teacher closes the window. The window, window closed. was closed. By the teacher. By the teacher. The windows were closed. The window is, is closed, closed by the teacher, right? And the next one, the last one, the dog did not buy the cat. Eso está en negativo. The dog did not buy the cat. Yeah. A cat. The cat, the cat wasn't bit the dog. The cat wasn't. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es el paso participio de bite? Beaten. Beaten. Very good. The cat wasn't beaten by the dog. Right. Let's see. Mm -hmm. The cat was not beaten by the, the by the dog. Very good. Perfect. You see, you are experts in passive voice. Uh. <laughs> yes, yes. yes, you're experts. Now let's see if you have something else. Okay, now we are going to uh, start a new topic that is that is a uh, different from the passive voice. I wanted to finish the passive voice. Quería terminar la passive voice hoy para darles tiempo para practicar mañana con este nuevo tema. By the end of this class, you will be able to use past continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another completed action. By esta clase o este eh, tema es de usar el pasado continuo, creo que ya lo saben, y el pasado simple, creo que también ya lo saben, y es, es usado para expresar una acción la cual estaba en progreso y fue interrumpida por otra acción ya finalizada. So it's like telling a story, right? Es como cuando contamos algo. Yo iba y de repente pasó esto, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es, para eso usamos los dos eh, tiempos. Para eso lo vamos a combinar. Esto creo que, if you already studied the platform, you already checked this. Si ya estudiaron la plataforma, creo que esto ya lo vieron. It says, this is a timeline. Earlier action, later action. Interrupting first. I was reading a book when you came. Estaba leyendo un libro cuando viniste. Entonces, I was reading algo que estábamos haciendo, pero pasó algo, ¿verdad? Que interrumpió. It says past continuous versus simple past. Use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past. And use the simple past for a completed action. Okay? It says, I was watching a good movie. But I fell asleep before the end. Estaba viendo una película, pero me dormí, ¿verdad? I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. 
What is the meaning of while? Do you know that word, while? Uh, mientras. Mientras, exactly, very good. Now I need a volunteer, can you read? Well, actually they, they went to the movies, he came home, she dropped my car. We use the simple past to express that an action started and finished at a specific time in the past. Eso ya lo sabían, ¿verdad? El mm -hmm. pasado se usa cuando ya terminó una acción, ¿verdad? They went to the movies, he came home, she drove my car, all of that. This is the structure of simple past, subject plus verb in the past plus complement. Subject plus didn't if it is in negative, plus verb in the base form plus complement. And for questions, did plus subject plus verb base form plus complement. This is just formulas, right? So if you follow the formula, you can write more sentences. Vamos a practicar. Okay. Can you give me um, a sentence with the first uh, formula? Dígame una oración con la primera formula. Can you give me one, please? With subject, verb, in the past, and complement. One sentence. Only one. Sorry, I cannot hear my you very mother, well. Uh huh. My mother went to the supermarket. My mother went to the supermarket. Very good. My mother went to the supermarket. Ahí podíamos agregar ya la otra, el, el past continuous, right? My mother went to the supermarket when something happened, cuando algo pasó. Number two. I, now I need a negative one. Subject plus didn't plus verb base form plus complement. A negative one in past, in simple past. My mother didn't go to the supermarket. Very good. My mother didn't, didn't right? Uh, go go to, to the supermarket. The supermarket. Very good. And now I need a question. Did plus subject plus verb in the base form plus complement and question mark. Did, did uh, your mother go to the supermarket? Did your mother? Very good. Perfect. So the same question, and I guess you already know that this is just a review. So mm -hmm. it, it is perfect, okay? Now let's see the next one. Now this is the past continuous, right? The one that we are going to add. The past continuous, this tense has more than one use, but this time we will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action. We will use it to describe an unfinished action that was interrupted by another event or action for example, I was sleeping when the dog barked. She was working when she had an accident. You were painting the house when you ran out of pain. La acción que es interrumpida es la que lleva el pasado continuo, ¿verdad? Esa es la que va interrumpida. Mm -hmm. Y lo que pasó, lo que interrumpió, es lo que va en pasado simple. ¿Ok? Uh, teacher... Yes, I have a question. In in this case, um, the verb is always used uh, with ing. Yes, because it's the present continuous. Like for example, oh, okay. I am okay. playing video games. I was playing video games, right? Okay, I am, okay. it's the same, but it's in, in the past. Yes, very good okay. question. The past uh, continuous, it always with ing, verb to be plus the ing. Actually, we have here um, the, the structure, right? Subject plus was or were plus the verb in ing. She was cooking all morning. This is in negative subject plus was, were plus not plus verb in ing. She was not sleeping when he came home. And the question, right? 
was where plus subject plus verb in, in ing was she sleeping when he came home and we use extra vocabulary with these kind of sentences for example while right que ya me decían mm -hmm. que significaba mientras, mientras right while i was having lunch the alarm went off while long action and then the past continues right and and when cuando right he was watching tv when somebody knocked the door and that's it while probably normally it goes uh, at the beginning right while and then when we can use it with um, the second sentence. And this is the end, I guess, for the past continuous and simple past. Remember, it says the past continuous is often used with the simple past to show that one action was in progress when another action occurred. I was taking a bath when the doorbell rang. They were eating dinner when the neighbors stopped by for a visit. And we have more examples here. Last, last week, I was driving when I got a flat tire. We can use last month, two years ago, or I met my friend while, like different expressions, time expressions. Let's see. For example, right? Um, now you are going to give me examples. Ahora ustedes me van a dar ejemplos. Quiero ejemplos. I want examples like this one, right? I was taking a shower when my cell phone rang. While Maria was walking home, she found $50. I was driving to work, but I got a flat tire. So I want examples like that. Can you give me one example like these ones? I was driving the car when the rain uh, start. Very good. When the rain start. Start. Start or started? Mm, started. It started, yes, right? Start. Because yes. this is the past continuous, right? I was yes. driving the car. Sorry, mm -hmm. let's see here. I was driving. That is the past continuous. And this is the simple, right? The simple past. Simple past, okay. Started. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, next one. I need another sentence, please. Another example. A volunteer, please. Otro ejemplo. Me teacher, I was studying. I was studied. Studied. Huh. Like this? Study. Yes. Okay. Well, 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 my mother is when my mother Sorry, I cannot hear you, Sobeida. You're you're like very far, far away from the microphone. Okay, I was studied while my mother is sleeping. Okay, sleeping. Like this? I think while. Okay, uh -huh. I was studied while my mother sleeping. Is this correct? No, uh, no, it's, no, it's, no, right. it's growth. Yes. Okay, so I was studying. I was studying. studying. Okay, uh -huh. very good. I was studying okay. while my mother Keep it. Slept. 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 Very good. Perfect. I was studying. This is the press past continuous, right? Past mm -hmm. continuous, and this is the simple past. You see. It was kind of, you are getting the idea, estaba procesando, but now it's correct. I was studying while my mother slept. Mientras mi madre durmió. Yeah, it can be possible. It's okay. It's, it's grammatically correct. Another example, the last one, otro ejemplo, el último.
the last one. I was run, running in the park. I was running, running uh -huh. in the park when my my leg broke broke my leg broke uh -huh. very good i was running in the park when my leg broke very good i was running you see this is the past continuous and this is the simple past very good. So I guess that this is a really simple way to express ourselves, like uh, like to understand these kind of sentences, uh, to tell a story, right? Do you have any questions about this new topic? Preguntas de este nuevo tema? No, teacher. No questions. Okay. Uh, I have a question. Yes, Olga. Um, Podemos cambiar el orden. Poner primero. Uh, el pasado simple y después el pasado eh, continuo o siempre tiene que ir en esa orden no we can change it if you want to okay you can change it yes for example I uh, was driving the car when the rain started mm -hmm. the rain started while or I was driving the car right mientras estaba mm -hmm. conduciendo el auto it's okay mm -hmm. okay thank you very good now, I guess I have an activity for you, but actually I have a lot of activities. For tomorrow, I just um one, three sentences, just like that, for you to practice. Para mañana solo tres oraciones como estas. Algo que les pasó, something real. I want something real. Algo que les pasó de verdad. Cuando yo estaba cocinando, se me quemó el café. Algo así, right? While I was cooking, the coffee burned, right? Something like that. Algo real. Quiero tres cosas que les pasen durante el día y que tal vez haya pasado algo, como que me contaran una historia, ¿verdad? Something like that. So for tomorrow, you are going to tell me a story that happened uh, during the day. Vamos a repasar. We are going to review this topic for tomorrow. And we are going to, let's see. Yeah, actually, just practice and practice more probably we are going to practice another conversation and we are going to provide you more vocabulary so uh let's see here do you have any question right now any other doubt okay teacher, no teacher, no teacher. yes again dijo teacher somebody said teacher yeah the primera clase is in youtube para repasar Yes, uh, si quieren, voy a tratar de enviarles el link. I will try to send you the link to the group so you can watch it. Okay, thank you. Okay, perfect. Do we have another questions? No question? Okay, I know that it's a lot of information right now. It was like the passive voice and then the, the, the O and then the past continuous and the simple past. But we are going to practice more tomorrow. Uh, just uh, finish the platform by tomorrow. Uh, trabajen en la plataforma. And if you have any question, let me know, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you for coming. Thank you for your effort and have a nice night. Good night. Thank you. See you good tomorrow. Night. Thank you. Good Bye. night. Good night. Bye. Thank you.